I'm William. I'm Leslie. How is it possible that these people look like actual dogs? And we've been together for a little over a year. Is that like a year, like in human years, or like a year in like dog years? Hey, listen up, you adrenaline junkies. Y'all be careful today. Winds are picking up, so stick strictly to procedures. Always careful, Milton, you know me. See, like, people that say stuff like that are just the people who aren't careful. Like, if you tell people, oh, don't worry, I'm careful, like, you're probably, you're probably not careful. Just a thought. And clearly, Milton over here knows that because his face of concern is just really speaking volumes. As far as sex goes, um, I'm very, very... I cannot get over the fact that this woman looks like a dog. She looks like a dog mixed with, like, a 12-year-old girl. Like, I'm confused. William can just look at me, and honey, I'm just, bam. It's, it's gotta be on. <laughs> no, that's actually just, like, you're literally, like, you're recording a TV show, and that's what you say. I really just wonder what people think, like, what goes through people's minds when they're, like, thinking of things to say, and they say the wrong thing. When we jump, I want you to make love to me midair. This has to be a joke, right? Like, you woke up one morning, you're like, today we're going skydiving. And then you, you know, you get in your car, you're driving to the place to go skydiving. And that idea pops into your brain and you're like, that's a good one. Let's share it with the world. You want to have sex, free falling at 125 miles per hour? Who says, whose response is that? You want to have sex, free falling at 125 miles an hour? Please say no. But clearly, we're watching the video, so we know he says yes. In the rain, in the woods. Yeah, done did that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That was a crazy weekend. <laughs> he said that was a crazy weekend. Like that all happened in the weekend. You had sex in the woods, in the rain, in the mud, and in a tree probably at this point. All in one weekend, like. Okay. It would be the sexiest thing we've ever done. That's not, that's not sexy. That's wacko. You're a wacko if you do that, okay? It's not attractive. It would be hot, really hot. He said, I'm not gonna lie, that'd be kinda hot. Like, yeah. ew, that was disgusting. But risky, even for us. I gotta be watching that altimeter the whole entire time. I'm not even sure it would work. Why is he being like he's a secret agent? And he's like, that'd be risky, uh, even for us. Like, what are you, like, what, you, what, what are you, I can't. It's not even a watch, it's an altimeter or something, whatever he just said. It basically tells you how close you're getting to the ground, right? He's on the ground, he doesn't need to be looking at it right now. It's gonna say on ground, on the ground. You are on the ground, your feet are touching the surface of the ground. One minute, jump right! The guy turns around, he's like, one, oh, sh one more minute. Um, there's one minute to jump. Just, uh, oh, you're still going. Just thought I'd, all right. That's so awkward. They're just making out. Ready, set, go. Yeehaw! Wow. I hope when I grow up, I can make a movie, right? And use this exact scene or like replicate it because the cinematography in it is absolutely astounding. I've literally never seen anything more realistic and better. The cloud passing really added to it. It really was like, wow, that's believable. He said, like while falling out of an airplane. That's exactly what I would do too. Like, uh, like, yeah, bro, live it up. I really enjoy the fact that you could like clearly hear that this is being like recorded in like a studio because you could hear the way like his screams bounce off the wall or whatever. I just really appreciate that. But they did add like the little, the little wind sounds to make it a little bit more realistic. So you know, shout out to TLC because they're really out here. I just figured. We could just connect. Connect <laughs> without a hassle. Oh, I don't. I. You think this was a puzzle or something? Like you just put the little. Oh, it's more like me boop. You know, you can't just like connect. You gotta like insert. We're having sex. We're making love. What? It looked like she was in utter pain. She said, ah! <laughs> like 
she didn't it didn't look like she was like enjoying it it looked like she was in like pain crap with their lives on the line he has to deploy his chute or they won't survive their frisky fall i Oh my god, TLC is really doing these people so dirty with these edits. Again, with the great cinematography, I just really appreciated that one clip. Just right there, the, just them perfectly falling in a straight line. Like, it doesn't get more perfect than that. These people are a flat, like, 1,000 feet, if anything, off of the ground in this one clip. Having been distracted by their mile high mishap, his parachute definitely didn't come out the way he planned. I don't even know how long it takes to like, you know, descend from 25,000 feet up in the air, but like in my brain, it doesn't take long and like 25,000 feet is really high up, but like your body is just like a dense thing and it's just going to plummet to the ground, right? So like maybe it'll take five minutes, 10 minutes at the most I could think. It's not like a slow paced activity where, you know, you could like maybe do what they're trying to do this is gonna hurt. Oh. And I he said this is gonna hurt like what you think it was gonna be a graceful landing when you looked at your altimeter and was like wow i need to deploy my parachute about five minutes ago um this is gonna be a graceful landing either way though here we go like, did you think it was gonna be graceful I i'm confused your bodies were literally connected you had to disconnect like a little hdmi cord that you had to pull that out of like a TV. And I seen him on the ground. First thought that went through my head was like, <laughs> he's dead. Wow, she's she had no hope. She said, well, I thought he was dead. Like, wh what do you mean you thought he was dead? Gotta get you to the hospital. Oh, I'm calling 911. No, wait, baby, don't do that. Well, I don't want to be grounded from jumping. Bro, you were almost grounded from living. I don't think being grounded from jumping should be your main priority here. My man was doing the hoo-ha up in the air, smack dabbed onto the ground and is worried about being grounded from jumping. You should be grounded from all activities. I'll just walk it off. Ugh. No, you won't. Did you damage your brain? No, but I might have damaged the goods. The very first pain is in my groin area on my left leg. So not only I might be done skydiving, I might be done pleasing my woman. Not only might I be done skydiving, I might be done skydiving, pleasing my woman at the same time, simultaneously. I'm not really sure. I don't know what to say because he's clearly not worried about his well-being when he should be. He could have literally splatted onto the ground, like splat. First found a creative way to plug his gushing nose. I'm gonna say I'm not surprised. Like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Just disappointed. Hey, we need a doctor right away. Are you getting a bar fight or something? What kind of emergency room is this that they just have everything just laid out in the waiting room? Because I've never been in a hospital that's like this. Apparently, my camera didn't find a purpose in living. So, here we are. He fell out of a plane and he's hurting bad. Well, we'll get to you just as soon as it's your turn. She said as soon as it's your turn and this man's face looks like that. Okay. Oh, Have him go sit next to the man who fell in the volcano and the woman with the shark bite. Oh, oh, okay. I understand, actually. When I seen that he was hurting at his private parts, I actually thought our sex life was done completely. I hate when people don't see the big picture. This man could have died. Like, he could be dead. But instead, this is what you're worried about. This is what you're worried about. Will we be able to have sex again? Well, as you can see, there's uh, plenty of swelling and bruising where the harness pinched. This is like the hospital that I had when I was seven on my DS. Like, just everything running the absolute incorrect way. This man just lifted his garment. Do you know that there's a curtain you could close for privacy so nobody sees his, you know, private parts? But no, Bethany over there in the bed next to him is going to have to look over and see that. And she doesn't want to. I know. I can sense it. She's the woman who got bit by a shark. She doesn't want to have to deal with that. Skydiving is dangerous already, but sex in the air is really pushing the boundaries. Thank you, Mr. Narrator person. We knew that. We knew that. Honestly, people today don't even surprise me. I'm waiting for the video to pop up in my recommended that's like, we had sex while tight roping over an active volcano. I'm waiting. I feel like a singer. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So subscribe if you're interested in more content. It would mean the world to me. And, um, yeah. 
But like I said before, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It literally means the world to me. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Adios, muchachos.